Sugar Ray Leonard came in at 146, just a pound under the 147-pound limit. Hearns at 145, and of course the height and reach advantage to Thomas Hearns. That can either be an advantage or a disadvantage, depending on the tactics used in the fight. But, Tim, I don't like that 145. Tommy Hearns should have come in at 147. After the weigh-in, put a few more pounds, he would be much stronger. Now let's go to the ring announcer, Chuck Hall. This is the feature attraction of the evening. 15 rounds of boxing for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, Fighting out of Palmer Park, Maryland. Weighing in at 146 pounds, the WBC welterweight champion, Sugar Ray Leonard. Hearns, 22 years of age, unbeaten in 32 bouts, battling Sugar Ray Leonard in this most highly anticipated championship bout to settle the welterweight championship of the world. The 10-point must system is in effect. The judges at ringside, Dwayne Ford, Chuck Minker, and Lou Tabot, all from Las Vegas. There you see Angelo Dundee uh, getting in his uh, final verbal licks at referee Davey Pearl. Sugar Ray Leonard, 30 and 1, 21 knockouts as he gets ready to take on Thomas Hearns. And Gil, the atmosphere here in Las Vegas is truly electric for this bout. I think you can just really feel it in the air. I mean, it's a fight that everybody's looking forward to. I know I'm looking forward to it. Two great fighters, great skills. Should be a great fight. This is for the undisputed welterweight championship. There is no three knockdown rule applying, and it will go 15 rounds or less. But Tim, Tommy Hearns is going to have to establish his jab early. That should be the key to the fight. Whether or not he can hit uh, Sugar Ray with that stiff jab or, or whether Ray can get under it and count. And that's what we should look for early. Tommy Hearns left jab. Well, despite the fact he has 30 knockouts in his 32 victories, as you've already pointed out, he is also a very skilled boxer. Of course, the speed of foot will be expected from Sugar Ray Leonard, and we're seeing some of that excellent footwork right now. You know, Tim, uh, Tommy Hearns has the height advantage, but the, it may wind up being a disadvantage because he trained down very, very low for this fight. Came in way under the welterweight limit. I don't think that will help him, especially if the fight goes long. We're outdoors in Las Vegas, Nevada at Caesars Palace. Tommy Hearns working confidently here in the first round, but having difficulty finding the range. As Sugar Ray Leonard, as expected, using all of that ring. Well, Sugar's really using that lateral movement, Tim, side to side, not letting Tommy Hearns get set at all. Hearns a little short with this combination. There's Leonard landing the first good contact blow of the bout, a right hand to the chin of Tommy Hearns. No damage. There's a range finder by Tommy Hearns, Tim. Right hand over the jab. Alan well, Leonard right away uh, showboating a little to show uh, Hearns that he's not intimidated. Of course, nobody expected either of these guys to be intimidated. Left hook by Hearns got to the ear of Leonard. Ray right now is just trying to size Tommy up, moving around, moving around to see what he has to offer. way Tommy Hearns is fainting with that left jab, Tim. Trying to open Ray Leonard up so he can hit him with that good combination. But you know, the thing to, to faint with that jab, make the faint effective, you have to land a few as he did then. Then the faint is more effective. Got that last jab in, Tommy Hearns, as we approach 30 seconds remaining, round number one. Hearns has been doing the stocking and Leonard doing the circling. Even the crowd here at Las Vegas are waiting with some anticipation for the action that's uh, certain to follow as Ray Leonard landed a good left jab. 
Final seconds of round number one. Hearns in pursuit. Well, a little extra punching after the bell there. And again, uh, Ray Leonard faking uh, a little wobble move on Hearns. But uh, again, it's just that mental game continuing here at the end of round number one. Tim, would you say that these guys really don't like each other? That's the way it looked to me. You know, Ray tried to give him that friendly tap, uh, like I'm the boss, and Tommy right away hit him with that short right hand after get it, the bell. Get it! Get it! Get right out of corner. Just stay clear. Get back, man. Get back. Let me work. Don't worry about it. I'll box him. I'll smart him. Cut him off. Let's take a look at the action at the end of the last round. I like that straight right here that Tommy is using to the body. Now the bell rang and here's Ray Leonard pushing him in the face and Tommy reacts and hits him with a short right hand on the chin and Leonard goes into his clowning act. Well, no points for those punches, but all three judges scored round one for Thomas Hearns. You know, Tim, you say no points for, the, for that punch, but that punch, Tommy Hearns tried to earn Ray Leonard's respect. Let him know that he was in the ball game. We're in round number two, scheduled for 15 from Las Vegas, Nevada. The undisputed welterweight championship of the world at stake. Tommy Hearns on the left. Ray Leonard circling. As per Angelo Dundee's instructions, he said, outbox him side to side, move around. And you could hear uh, Ray Leonard say to Angelo Dundee about Tommy Hearns, he's trying to bomb early. Hearns, uh, up to this point, he's fainting beautiful, beautifully with that jab, Tim, but he hasn't been able to really score with it the way he does has done against previous opponents. Ray is very, very slick. That side-to-side -side movement is bothering Tommy Hearns. But Ray has to get into the offensive part of this fight a little bit more, Tim, right now. If he continues to fight this way, Hearns is just going to keep putting the rounds in the bank. Hearns stalking, throwing that left jab, cutting off the ring as best he can against the very mobile Sugar Ray Leonard. Thomas Hearns fighting for more than the undisputed championship. Even though he's unbeaten, it's been Sugar Ray Leonard who's received most of the attention as their careers have paralleled each other. And despite the loss to Roberto Duran, Leonard's avenging of that defeat still has him high on the popularity polls. Now Ray is fainting with his right hand, Tim, showboating a little bit. But you know, the way, the way Leonard is jabbing, he's reaching in with the jab. He's not in position to throw any other punch uh, besides the jab. He can't put it together unless he straightens himself up and starts keeping his weight over his feet when he jabs. Good right hand from Hearns behind his left jab, and that going to rise from the crowd. Best punch of the fight for Thomas Hearns. That most lethal weapon is big right. In round two, scheduled for 15. A little less movement by Leonard now here in the second round. And Tommy has that left hand right down around his knee, Tim. He's inviting Ray Leonard to throw that right hand over the... There, he tried to do it right down. Good left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard. Well, that's something that has been apparent in... Hearns style to this point, even though he is unbeaten, he has shown a vulnerability because of where he carries the guard. However, he's been able to throw the right hand and flatten 30 of his 32 opponents. The end of round number two. Emmanuel Stewart in the corner of Thomas Hearns. Let's take a look at the replays again, Tim. You can just see how slick Ray Leonard is here, moving around, and Tommy just missed with that left hand, missed with the right hand. He has landed a couple of right hands, Tim, but they're few and far between. Leonard is such a tough guy to hit. But however, Leonard is not doing too much landing himself, though there was a good left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard, his best punch of the fight. Well, Thomas Hearns, it'll be a question of uh, whether he can keep his cool, not be frustrated by the elusive Leonard as the fight progresses. Here's Emmanuel Stewart, has been with him since his amateur days. Every round I want that put on his neck right away. 
Thomas Hearns coming in at 145, two pounds under the limit, and as uh, Gil pointed out, uh, may be a source of concern. Well, Tim, right now I have given Tommy Hearns the first two rounds, as have the judges. He's putting the rounds in the bank because Ray Leonard is fighting a strictly defensive fight up to this point. Round number three from Las Vegas, Nevada, the undisputed welterweight championship. Sugar Ray Leonard on the right of your screen, Thomas Hearns on the left. Tim, you see the way Sugar Ray Leonard is jabbing. He's completely off balance. His weight is not over his feet, so he can't follow it with any kind of a combination. Hearns patiently waiting for an opening here in the third round. Leonard back using his footwork. Here's a big left hand from Hearns. Solid left hook scored by the taller Tommy Hearns. Trying to follow up now, and of course, Leonard trying to indicate to him he wasn't hurt by it, but he's backpedaling. I like the way Tommy Hearns throws that straight right hand to the body, Tim. That sets up a lot of other punches for him. Missed with a straight right down the pipe, but throws another combination behind it. And Ray, Ray had a nice move off the ropes there, Gil. Yeah, but Ray is not punching back, Tim. Right at this moment, he's not in the fight offensively. Hearns really loading up on that right now. Decided lack of offense from Leonard at this point. Burns with a range finder jab again. They just can't seem to get off him. It seems like his feet are stuck in the mud. He starts to try to get off and then he just changes his mind. There's a right hand thrown by Leonard and Kearns countered with a good right hand. You know when you're a tall guy the way Kearns is, you know, he leaves that, that opening for you if you throw the right hand. But if he blocks it or you miss, you're in perfect position for him to nail you with that big right hand of his. And there's Ray giving him a lot of head movement, a lot of leg movement, grabbing the ropes, which is a foul, as Davey Pearl pointed out. Leonard scoring a left and a right, but Hearns again countering effectively. Now Sugar Ray just threw one right hand, even though it missed him, he threw it with bad intentions. Leonard picking up his pace, but he missed with an overhand right and a left behind it. Counter right hand from Hearns, but Leonard forcing him back to the ropes. Now they go toe-to-toe -to -toe for the first time. Leonard is really overworking that right hand. Good right hand by Tommy Hearns. Good left hook to the body. That right hand from Hearns got Leonard's attention. Backed him up some. Now Hearns digging to the body, and Leonard fires back. The right hand from Leonard at the bell. Best round of the fight so far, and... Many in the audience come to their feet here at Caesars Palace as Ray Leonard raises his hands. Back downstairs. Back downstairs. Get downstairs. Stay down the one time and stay hard. You only got a minute, right? Let's take a look at the action. They were telling Sugar Ray, downstairs, downstairs, but it looks to me like he's going upstairs, and he's missing with some of these punches. Another miss upstairs. Finally, he threw a, an ineffective punch to the body, but almost every one of his punches are aimed at Tommy Hearns' head. But right now, they're finding each other, Tim. They're in front of each other, and they're throwing hard, meaningful punches. And you can see that left hook to the body by Tommy Hearns, a beautiful left hook. That was, those are the kind of punches I like. Well, two of the judges gave that round to Sugar Ray Leonard, and Lou Tabbitt gave it to Thomas Hearns. So Hearns continues to lead on the judges' scorecards as we head into round number four. Hearns on the right, Leonard on the left. You heard Leonard's corner imploring him to start working the body. But in that third round, it was really the first round that Leonard showed some serious offense, and it looked like he was trying to intimidate Hearns to show that perhaps he'll be the knockout man tonight. You know, Tim, in Ray's corner, they told him to stay downstairs, stay downstairs. I don't recall him beating downstairs, unless you want to call that left jab that he's going to the body a good body punch. He hasn't been working the body as he should be. Scheduled for 15 rounds. The undisputed welterweight championship at stake.
striking left jab of Thomas Hearns. And the boxer's flat-footed right now, Gil. Yes, but I like that straight right hand to the body that Tommy Hearns is throwing on occasion. It's, there it is again. It sets up other punches, Tim. If this continues to be a chess match, uh, Tommy Hearns is, uh, is going to win this fight. Wild swinging left miss by Tommy Hearns. So far, his jab has been his most potent and effective weapon. And Tim, there's a slight swelling underneath the left eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. That came late in round number three. We're in the fourth. Now, there was a good strike right hand by Sugar Ray. Even though it missed, he, he threw a jab, kept his balance, so that he was able to throw that right hand. Leonard blocking the left lead from Hearns. But there's that right to the body that Bill referred to. And now Sugar Ray throws a good straight right hand to the body. Under a minute to go, round number four. Combination from Leonard Lands. Short with the right hand. Hearns failed to counter. by Hearns landed and a good left hook by Sugar Ray Leonard Tim finished off the combination right by Leonard and then two shots right back from Tommy Hearns slowing the attack from Sugar Ray Tim they may have hurt Sugar Ray Leonard under the 15 second mark to go Hearns sensing an advantage here trying to press it final seconds of the fourth Landed by Hearns and an uppercut underneath. Again, Leonard scoring after the bell this time, but a strong finish in round four for Tommy Hearns. You know, Tommy Hearns landed a lot of effective punches in that round, Tim. Uh, Leonard felt the power of Tommy Hearns. He's back there in the corner, looks pretty calm. And here we see Tommy Hearns. Manny still is talking to him. Here's that flurry at the end of the last round by Tommy Hearns. Good straight right hand by Hearns. Moving around, trying to set up Ray. There's another straight right hand. There's that left hook to the body. See how that set up the right hand, Tim? And there's another right hand by Tommy Hearns. And a left hook by Tommy Hearns. Landing some pretty good punches on Sugar Ray Leonard at the end of this round. Now let's take another look at this. There's that straight right hand again. Missed that big left hook. And Sugar Ray still bouncing around. Still a nice straight right hand to the body. But he's being outpunched by Tommy Hearns, as you can see, at the end of the round. Well, all three judges gave that round to Thomas Hearns, and uh, like uh, Lou Tabbitt, uh, we agree that uh, Tommy Hearns has won every round so far. Round number five, scheduled for 15, Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. Sugar Ray Leonard off to a somewhat difficult start against the rangy Thomas Hearns. Near the end of that fourth round, Hearns found his range, and there is a little swelling under the eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. Hearns short with the right on that last exchange. But you can see the, you can see the confidence building in Tommy Hearns. Uh, Tim, he's taking chances now, putting punches together, exposing himself a little bit. And so far, Ray is just fighting a defensive fight. Looking left jab landed by Hearns. And you can see that swelling under the left eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. And if those jabs continue to land, Tim, that could cause him a problem later on in the fight. Look where Tommy Hearns has that left hand. Right down by his side. He's saying to Ray, here's, here's my chin, Ray. Hit me with that right hand or throw it at me so I can nail you. And Ray is... I guess maybe a little too smart to lead with the right hand under the no-nos in boxing. Again, not much offense by Leonard in the early part of this round. We approach the halfway mark of round number five. Well, Ray is, there's a good right hand by Ray Leonard. Threw it over that low left hand, but Ray is going to have to get a little closer to him. He can't stay outside on the perimeter there and just continue to go side to side and let Tommy score points. 
He's trying to find a way to get inside on this big, tall guy, but he knows that Hearns can punch with that right hand and has a good, snappy jab. It's, it's a tough uh, can of worms for uh, Sugar Ray Leonard at the moment. Minute remaining in round number five. No question that Leonard has the advantage in hand speed, but Leonard himself knows that Tommy Hearns a little quicker with his hands than most people give him credit for. So far, a completely dominant round by Hearns, and he hasn't had to work too much to achieve that. Thirty seconds remaining in round number five. When Ray throws that jab the way he threw it to him, it, it takes everything away from him. He may land the jab, but he can't land anything else. He's going to have to. There he's playing a thing with that right hand. And now Tommy Hearns is giving it back to him. Showboating with really. anybody can do that. He's saying to Ray Leonard right now. And then meanwhile, Tommy Hearns' jab is scoring the points. Hearns with a lot of confidence right now. That's drawing the crowd into this. Final seconds, round five. Well, Tommy Hearns, clearly the winner of that round, and you can see a somewhat fatigued-looking Sugar Ray Leonard. He put a lot of mileage on his boxing boots during that round. Tim Sugar, Sugar Ray Leonard's going to have to do something. He has to get inside. He has to take chances. Up to now, he's been unwilling to take chances, reach in there to try to nail Tommy Hearns. That's what's going to change this fight around. He's going to have to land some big punches. Meanwhile, in Ray's corner, they're telling him to keep boxing, keep boxing. If he keeps boxing the way he's been boxing, He's going to lose this fight. Well, here's how it looks through five rounds. Judges all gave that one to Hearns, no surprise, and Tommy Hearns well ahead. Round number six. Fifteen rounds for the undisputed welterweight championship of the world, the fight that... All boxing fans have been waiting for unbeaten Tommy Hearns, once beaten Sugar Ray Leonard, the former Olympic champion. Davy Pearl, the referee, hasn't been too busy so far. I would have to say that Ray Leonard has been very, very patient up to this point, Tim. He's looking for something, but I just right at the moment don't know what he's looking for. As we see by the scorecards, Tim, if he continues this way, he's going to have to win seven of the last ten rounds to win the fight. An uphill climb faced by Sugar Ray Leonard, the way things are going. Tommy Hearns very calmly and patiently stalking his man as he has since the opening bell. Tim Ryan and Joe Clancy watching Sugar Ray Leonard and Tommy Hearns. Here's that jab to the body again by Leonard, but he has to drag himself back out after he throws that jab. There it is again. Good left jab by Tommy Hines. Great count is pretty good that time. Tim slipping through a good left hook. A little short of the mark. And Leonard starts to go in, Tim, and he just stops himself. He just can't let himself get off. Leonard misses with a right, but there's a left. A left hand that wobbles Tommy Hearns and backs him up to the corner. Leonard to the attack. Under a minute to go on the sixth. Hearns is in trouble, Gil. Well, he finally let himself get that left hook off, Tim. Threw the right hand and came back with the hook instead of dragging himself back out. And he nailed Tommy Hearns right on the chin. And Hearns is in trouble right now. And Ray is a good finisher. We know that. First time in the fight that Leonard has been able to penetrate against Tommy Hearns. Another left by, landed by Leonard. And a left to the body by Sugar Ray. Really picking up the pace. And a left to the chin. Hearns punching back, but he missed. Leonard keeps the pressure on. Under 20 seconds we go. 
Now it's in Ray Leonard's territory. He's able to get inside on Tommy Hearns now and punch with him. Another combination landed by Leonard. Final seconds of round six. Hearns back to the ropes at the bell. Sugar Ray Leonard might be a little arm weary after that big round number six. But Tommy Hearns took a lot of punishment. Emmanuel Stewart in quickly to check on his man. Well, we heard what Manny Stewart told Tommy Hearns. He says, keep that right hand up or you'll get hit on the chin with a left hook. And there's that big left hook that hit him right on the chin, wobbled him, and maybe turned this fight around. You know, Ray Leonard is a good finisher. When he gets a guy in trouble, he can really do a job. And he senses that he has Tommy Hearns in trouble now, and he'll start taking some chances. There's that left hook again, and you can see the way Tommy reacted to the punch. A big round for Sugar Ray Leonard, his first. Hearns still ahead on all three cards, but as Gill pointed out, perhaps a turning point in this fight. Round number seven scheduled for 15. Tommy Hearns still showing the effects of the battering from round number six at the hands of Sugar Ray Leonard. And Leonard right there in front of him now, Gil. Well, Tim, you, Ray senses that he has Tommy Hearns hurt, and he knows he can hurt him. No more bouncing around with Sugar Ray Leonard. Now he's planting himself and trying to land solid punches. And willing to take a little punishment as Hearns scored a right hand. Well, Tim, you have to understand that Tommy Hearns can get you out with one punch at any time, so Ray is taking a chance, but I think that's what he's going to have to do to win this fight. Opening minute of round number seven. Hearns had his way through the first five. Leonard bangs to the body. Solid left hook and a left hand upstairs behind it. You can see how Sugar Ray has completely changed his style. Hearns got a right hand through. Leonard stayed right there. And bangs to the body again. Uppercut scored by Leonard. That hurt Hearns. Hearns backing up, Leonard on the attack again, but Hearns fires back. This is a completely different Sugar Ray Leonard right now, Tim. He senses something. Completely different fight. Toe-to-toe -to -toe they are here in the seventh. Hearns still looking a little wobbly. Those left hooks to the body are the key for Sugar Ray, though. They set up everything else, Tim. Good combination landed by Leonard. That brings the crowd alive. A lot of Leonard fans here, as you might expect. Hearns backing up for the first time in the fight. And Davey Pearl, the referee, that's the first time he's had to separate these two boxers. The Leonard right back, pressing Hearns into the corner. Good left hook to the body again by Sugar Ray. And he's got Tommy Hearns against the ropes. He's the stronger guy in the two right now by far. No question about it. Hearns not countering as he was earlier. Hearns is going to have to get a second win from somewhere, Tim. Looks like a beaten fighter right now. Look at, Tom, look at Sugar Ray land those short little left hooks inside. Under the 32nd mark in round seven. Finally, Hearns scores to the body. But he's short with that left hand in the head. And a right hand by Leonard drives him back again to the corner. Final seconds of the seventh round. It's all Sugar Ray Leonard in this round. Leonard, a combination at the bell. And Hearns very shaky. Going back to his corner, he can barely stand up. Let's listen to Emmanuel Stewart in Hearn's corner. He's got to be plenty worried about his man's condition right now. Well, you ain't punching, man. I'm telling you, I had to stop it if you don't punch. Throw the goddamn right hand and throw it hard. But you heard what Manny Stewart said. He said he's going to have to stop the fight. You know, we fight managers use that kind of dialogue. We tell the guy we're going to stop the fight. We're not going to be in your corner. Anything to wake him up and change him and make him get back in the fight. Manny's not going to stop the fight, but he's going to give Tommy Hearns a lecture to try to get him going again. Well, in this action here from round seven, you see uh, Sugar Ray Leonard continuing his assault. Manny Stewart's 
still threatening her that he'll stop the fight if he doesn't start punching back. And you can see those two big rounds for Leonard, six and seven, have brought this fight to within one point on two of the judges' scorecards. Round number eight from Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. A whole different fight. Hearns with the early lead. Leonard battling back in six and seven. And it has had Tommy Hearns in some difficulty. Jim Ryan and Gil Clancy watching this undisputed welterweight championship bout. Got to wonder about Tommy Hearns' legs now. And Gil, perhaps the condition that you mentioned. Hearns coming in at 145. Well, Tim, I didn't like that one bit. I mean, he's a big, tall guy. He should have came down at the 147 and weighed exactly 147 for the fight. You know, you have to have a foundation, especially in a tough fight like this with a tough guy like Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard right now is much stronger physically than Tommy Hearns. He's able to bull him, and he's found that out. You can see he's not moving side to side. He's just walking in, planting himself, and he's trying to outmuscle Tommy Hearns, which he's been able to do successfully. Hearns bouncing around now like Leonard did earlier in the fight, but you have to wonder, is this just to try and get his legs back under him? Because he was very shaky at the end of round seven. Long way to go, unless Ray Leonard can press the advantage that he picked up in the last couple of rounds, having Hearns in trouble. So far, a complete reversal here with Hearns doing the circling, Ray Leonard doing the stocking. There's a left landed by Hearns. This is the way that Tommy Hearns boxed when he was an amateur, Tim. He wasn't known as a big puncher in the amateurs, but he was a beautiful boxer, and he was able to win most of his fights by outboxing his opponent. So he can box. Now again, Ray is stalking Tommy Hearns. He had him in trouble. Yeah, big right hand. Must have heard me, Tim, because I was going to say, you better start throwing some punches. Right hand lead, and he got Hearns' attention with that. Under a minute to go. We had mentioned earlier that Tommy Hearns defies you to throw that right hand, reach for that big tall guy because he can nail you coming back, but now Ray takes chances throwing that punch. He just feels that he has Tommy Hearns in that kind of trouble. And now Tommy's trying that side-to-side -side movement. But no question, it's a cautionary round for Tommy Hearns. Not the way he fought after round six, when Leonard first got him into some trouble. Well, he's fighting a different guy now, too. He's fighting a guy that's walking right in, not moving away from him. Leonard bangs a good left hook to the body. And a right back from Hearns, his best punch of this round. Leonard missed with a right. Final seconds of round eight. Leonard misses with the left. And the bell sounds ending the eighth round with Leonard in pursuit of Thomas Hearns. Tommy Hearns still looking a little weary and perhaps a loss of confidence expressed on his face there. Hey, see the back of his head, Ball. Get the ice bucket. You're back ahead, I'm pushing now. You know, Tim, I'd never tell a fighter that he's back ahead on points. I mean, you never know how these judges are going to score a fight. He's got to keep him alert and keep him working. And he asked him again if his legs are coming back. I wouldn't tell my fighter that there was anything wrong with his legs. You just tell him how you wanted to fight and hope that he can do it. And I don't think Tommy Hearns can win this fight letting Ray set up and throw those big bombs without nailing him back. Well, in fact, Gil, in the boxers' corners, they don't know the scores at this point, but we have Tommy Hearns ahead by a point. But look at this. Wayne Ford has the fight all even. Minker and Lou Tabbitt have Hearns ahead by just two points. Tommy Hearns coming up for round number nine and showing wear and tear. Ray Leonard off to a slow start through the first five rounds is turning it around in round six through eight. And again, we see a different Sugar Ray Leonard that started the fight, Tim. He's now flat-footed and stalking Tommy Hearns. Still has that swelling under his left eye, though, Tim. And if he gets nailed a couple of punches, it could still cause a big problem. And there you see Sugar Ray Leonard throwing that right hand uh, to the body, trying to set up Tommy Hearns for the left hook. Emmanuel Stewart asking Tommy Hearns to box, box, box. And he's starting out here in this ninth round circling and using that effective jab. 
Well, he's got the build to be a boxer, Tim. Tall guy with a good fast left hand. Like a snake darting out there. But again, it's okay as long as the other guy doesn't nail you. But if you let a guy like Ray Leonard get set, you can get nailed with some pretty good punches. And there's that jab that I didn't like that Leonard was throwing in the early rounds. Tommy Hearns is throwing that left jab to the body. Hearns legs look a little better to me now, Gil, than they did in the last round. But yes, but Sugar Ray Leonard is just stalking him now, fighting flat-footed. But what Ray Leonard has to do, he has to remember to punch. You can't just stalk the fighter without throwing any punches. Halfway through the ninth round. Crowd a little quiet again now, watching the ebb and flow of this bout. Big early lead by Hearns. Three big rounds by Leonard. It's scheduled for 15. See that educated left hand of Tommy Hearns, Tim? Left hook to the body, came right back up with a snapping jab to the head. And the meanwhile, Ray is stalking, but not punching. Hearns scoring effectively here in the final minute now of round number nine. I can just see Angelo Dundee in the corner saying to himself, I can't wait to get this kid back to tell him that he's got to be throw some punches, be a little bit more aggressive. Well, he certainly has allowed Thomas Hearns to get himself back into it. And Hearns, sensing that, has picked up his pace, punching in combinations and scoring. And he kept his right hand up that time, the way Manny Stewart told him to in an earlier round and blocked that left hook of Ray Leonard's. Reaching the 22nd mark remaining, and a left landed by Hearns again. So Thomas Hearns, using his boxing ability effectively here in the ninth round as we see it, has handily won this ninth. That's the end of nine, scheduled for 15. Kind of a strange round by Sugar Ray Leonard. Angelo Dundee jumps in quickly to talk to his man. You know, Tim, as soon as Sugar Ray Leonard sat down, Angelo Dundee told him, you have to throw more punches. I mean, and that's exactly what Sugar Ray is going to have to do. He can't just stalk the guy and forget the punch. It's funny, fighters react like that. You have to remind them to do certain things, and then they do them. Well, a strange turnabout again after Ray Leonard had just had three excellent rounds. Suddenly, he just stopped, and he let Tommy Hearns back into it here. We scored it easily for Hearns, as did the judges. So Tommy Hearns leading on all three cards, heading into the 10th round. The undisputed welterweight championship of the world, scheduled for 15. Sugar Ray Leonard on the right of your screen. Tommy Hearns on the left. Tim Ryan and Gil Clancy watching them. Las Vegas, Nevada at Caesars Palace. See whether or not Ray Leonard picks up the pace again that he let drop in round number nine. By right now, Tim, you see Ray Leonard using a different jab. You notice he's not bending down and reaching in with that left hand. He's moving in behind it. There he is again, so he can throw another combination after he lands that jab. Completely different fighter right now, Tim. Well, and I think the same can be said of uh, Tommy Hearns, who was in difficulty in rounds six and seven. Seems to have his legs back under him, Gil. Well, you know, it's a funny thing. Now, he's become Ray Leonard. He's become the boxer, and Ray Leonard's become Tommy Hearns. He's become the puncher and the stalker. But again, Tommy Hearns is scoring points. He's on a perimeter now. He's boxing around, and Ray, again, is doing the stalking, but not enough punching. There is the jab that I don't like. Back throwing that left jab to the body, and he reaches in. There it is again. In neither case, however, did uh, Hearns react with a counterpunch. Pace somewhat slowed here in the 10th round, as though each fighter is beginning the fight again, trying to find the way in.
again. Lennon is standing flat-footed, Tim, and he's able to deliver the harder punches if, in fact, he does throw them. And you know, Tim, you mentioned Davey Pearl. He's doing a great job as a referee. A good referee is a guy that you very seldom see. There's that big right hand by Leonard. He can throw those big punches. But Pearl is doing an excellent job in this fight. I think we've only had one clinch into this 10th round. I don't know why Ray Leonard is so reluctant to get off, as we say in the boxing business. He just isn't getting off. He gets up to the mark, and then he doesn't let the punch go. You can just see him stop when he gets up to the mark. Somewhat tentative 10th round for both boxers, but Hearns a little more effective from long range. That has to be a confidence builder for Tommy Hearns, Gil because he won the ninth round rather easily against a very unaggressive Ray Leonard. And here in the 10th round just completed a similar look. And it just seems to me that Tommy Hearns standing a little taller, feeling a little better about his performance. Can Ray Leonard perhaps be getting a little tired? Two quiet rounds in a row for Sugar Ray. Hearns ahead by three. Chuck Minkler has Hearns ahead by four. And Dwayne Ford has him ahead by two. Tim, the way they have it scored now, Sugar Ray Leonard is going to have to win four out of the last five rounds just to get a draw, unless, of course, there's a two-point round. If he's dug himself a hole, he's going to have to try to get out of it. Round number 11 upcoming. Tommy Hearns and Sugar Ray Leonard. The undisputed welterweight championship at stake. And Leonard comes out with a right-hand lead. See whether he changes his style from the last couple of rounds. Hearns in command through the first five. Leonard wobbled Hearns in round six, took the advantage all the way through the eighth, and then let Hearns back into it. You know, Tim, I used to teach my fighters when the other fighter's back was on the ropes, throw a punch, throw it at his body. You're going to hit something, he can't get out of the way, then you get your combinations off. But Ray, for some reason or other, is stalking, stalking. Tommy went on the ropes, he still didn't get off with a punch. All of the fight here in the last five rounds. Tommy Hearns ahead on the judges' scorecards, lands a good right hand. Nice combination, he's putting his punches together. Renewed sense of purpose evident from Tommy Hearns. Two easy rounds in a row, and he really looks a lot more confident. And Ray just seems puzzled, he just doesn't seem to have Tommy Hearns figured out again. Now Tommy is the aggressor. He's back to being the Tommy Hearns that he was early in the fight. He's doing the stalking. It's switched around again. Tim uh, Hearns was so, a good left hook to the body by Hearns, so, but he was so successful, he won those rounds boxing. Now he's back bombing again. And he just scored another good combination. Leonard staying right there, but not firing back. There's a left landed by Leonard, but right back comes Hearns with a combination. You know, Tim, a lot of times a fighter will hurt another fighter with one big punch, and he looks to throw that punch the entire rest of the fight and winds up losing the fight. That's what it looks like Ray Leonard is doing, just looking for that one punch. Good right hand lead by Hearns. And a left hook behind it. Those were two very effective punches. Hearns in command here in the final 20 seconds of round number 11. with confidence, Tim, Tommy Hearns. Another good round for Hearns as he has taken these last several rounds away from Sugar Ray Leonard. 
Manny Stewart got to be a little more pleased with the way things are going. You know, they're really worried about Sugar Ray Leonard's left hook, Tim. That's why he's telling him to keep that right hand up. And there he's winging that right hand and landing a pretty good right hand on Leonard's chin. But you see when he jams, again, he, there was that right hand down. He's not paying attention to Manny Stewart. You know, Tommy Hearns is a great offensive fighter, but sometimes he forgets about defense. You know, you can't admire your work, Tim. You have to worry about getting nailed at all times. You have to keep those hands up. Gil, you can hear some of the crowd in the background chanting, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. Obviously, fans from Detroit, and Hearns reacting to it. He is invigorated by the support he's getting and by the way this fight is going in the later rounds. In a round number 12, Sugar Ray Leonard will need to win all four remaining rounds just to get a draw, unless, of course, he should have a, a two-point round or a knockout. A somewhat listless attack by Leonard the last few rounds, enabling uh, Hearns to maintain his lead. He's never been behind in the bout on the judges' scorecards. And now you notice, Tim, that Tommy Hearns is standing right in front of Sugar Ray Leonard. No more boxing, no more moving around. He's stalking Leonard again. And Leonard looks like he's trying to figure out a puzzle. There's that good right hand to the body by Tommy Hearns. I like that as a setup fight. There it is again. And Ray is just looks like he's trying to figure something out. Can't let those hands go. Gives ground back against the ropes. I don't imagine Tommy Hearns was counting on a knockout of Sugar Ray Leonard. Although he's got 30 in his 32 victories. He's been 10 rounds three times in his career and 13 rounds against Randy Shields in April of this year. But here he is into the 12th against Sugar Ray Leonard. And Ray's left eye is looking more angry now, Tim, than at any time in the fight. And there's some swelling under the right eye as well. Now Leonard finally gets through and lands an overhand right. Almost jumping in with that punch. Leonard has got to make something happen if he's got any chance to win this bout. He's got to win each round convincingly. Well, it's amazing how he's changed his style completely, Tim. He's been three different fighters. He won the early part of the fight, he was side to side, and then he was the aggressor that was bombing and throwing punches. Now he's just the aggressor that's not throwing punches. Three different Ray Leonard's in one fight. Meanwhile, Hearns using that jab very effectively here in the 12th. Well, Ray is jabbing a little better now, Tim, trying to set up another big punch. But you notice he's not bending and throwing that jab now. His weight is over his feet where it belongs. That was a good right hand to the body by Leonard. Wild swinging left hook missed. And Hearns keeping his advantage through this 12th round. Right hand behind the jab landed by Hearns. Final seconds of the 12th. Another solid round for Tommy Hearns as we see it. Angelo Dundee has to be very concerned in the Leonard corner. You're blowing it now, son. You're blowing it. Okay, put the ice in his back. Keep that there. Keep that there, Ray, baby. Right there. Open your mouth wide. Let's go. Ray, you're going to fire. You're not firing. Well, Angelo told it like it is. He said he's blowing it, and he is blowing it. But he said he also said you have nine minutes to go, and nine minutes can be a long time in a fight. As you just saw there, Ray Leonard landed one big right hand, and we know what his punching power can do to Tommy Hearns. Well, we know what uh, Hearns has in terms of punching power. There's some evidence that swelling under the left eye of Sugar Ray Leonard. Ray Leonard needs a knockout to win this championship. Hearns ahead on all three cards from four to six points. 
And Tim, more importantly, he's very, very confident. You saw the way he tried to get the fans to, to cheer him on. I think he feels like he has this fight won. He's fighting with confidence. He's still stalking Leonard despite the fact that he's way ahead. He's not fighting defensively. We're into round 13. That's as long and about as Tommy Hearns has ever been. That came against Randy Shields earlier this year. Now Leonard bullying Hearns into the ropes, but no knockdown there. Just got him off balance. And Hearns is all right. But you know, Tim, that could be an indication that Tommy's legs are starting to go. We mentioned the fact that he came in so light for the fight. 15 rounds is a long way to go. And as Angelo said, nine minutes. And nine minutes is a long time to fight. The legs may be starting to weaken on Tommy Hearns. But again, Ray, it just doesn't seem to sense anything. Angry swelling under the right eye of Ray Leonard. He is swollen under both eyes now. Right now, Hearns is back jabbing and moving, and Ray Leonard has become the stalker again, but not the puncher. Leonard finding a little range with the left jab now. And a right hand. Right hand staggers Tommy Hearns. Hearns in trouble again. Leonard all over him. Leonard pounding away with combinations inside. Hearns trying to grab him. Can't do it. Hearns driven into the ropes. Leonard pounds him right through the ropes. Davy Pearl, he's not counting. He's not counting. Hearns evidently pushed through there. Hearns getting up, shaking his head like he's not hurt, but he's in all kinds of trouble. Leonard jumps on him again. Well, Tim, we know what a great finisher Ray Leonard is. He must have thrown a thousand punches. All the punches he didn't throw in those last four rounds, he saved up. And boy, did he let him go. Hearns lunging in desperation, landed a right hand that snapped back the head of Leonard. Leonard knows he needs a knockout to win this championship. Hearns backing up, Leonard after him. And still wobbly legged. You can see Tommy Hearns having difficulty staying upright. A left hand scored by Leonard and a right behind it. Hearns battered around the ring, won't go down. What a flurry by Sugar Ray Leonard. And again, Hearns trying to hold on, but he can't get a grip on him. A right hand by Leonard and a left. Missing with the right as Hearns sprawls through the ropes. Davy Pearl this time counting, Gil. Yes, he did count, Tim, because if the ropes hold you up when you're going to fall, it's counted as a knockdown. And there's the bell ending round 13. The crowd here at Caesars Palace going crazy. The Leonard fans seeing him right back in this fight. He nearly had a knockout of Tommy Hurt. Now, Gil, this was what appeared to be a knockdown. Well, Tim, he was right by that uppercut. He wobbled into the ropes, but he was still standing. Then you see Ray miss a punch and push him down and then miss the next one. So Davey Pro was 100% correct in calling it no knockdown. But Leonard did score a knockdown at the end of the round, and all three judges gave him 10-8 scores. Still, he needs two more rounds like that or a knockout to win this championship. Gil, let's go back into the fight here, and you can see Tommy Hearns in difficulty here. He just either doesn't want to or doesn't know how to hold on. He just doesn't know how to hold on. He's never been in that position before. He's the guy that's always dishing out the punishment. Now he's on the receiving end. He just doesn't know what to do. There he's going through the ropes, and you see Ray Leonard giving that little push. Round number 14, and Leonard comes quickly off the stool and throws a right hand to the body of Thomas Hearns. Hearns knocked down at the end of round 13, the first time in his career he's been on the canvas, Gil, and his legs just don't appear to be strong at all. They're very, very shaky. As he's bouncing around, you can just see the shake in his legs. And you know, Tim, when the guys have never been on the canvas before, you never know how they're going to react when they get up. He's had no experience being down. A renewed sense of purpose on the face of Sugar Ray Leonard. The ebb and flow of this fight has been awesome. Hearns easily in front through the first five rounds. Leonard taking over the middle part of the fight and then suddenly going into a shell and Hearns coming back. And then in round 13, Ray Leonard with a push through the ropes and then a knockdown late in the round. And I like the way Ray's been going to the body, Tim, since the beginning of this round. He's trying to set up that big punch. 
Here he is banging to the body again. Beautiful body punches. And that's the place to hit a guy when those legs are gone. And Ray Leonard has to know that Tommy Hearn's legs are gone. Everybody else here does. Big right hand. Hearn staggers along the ropes. Leonard after him. He's in all kinds of trouble again. Gil, how come the Hearns doesn't grab onto Leonard here? Tim, he's not trying to grab. He's never been in this position before. He doesn't know how to grab. He's always had the other guy in that position. Leonard now going to the head and down to the body, banging away at Hearns, who hasn't fired a punch back. There he tries a combination, got the left hand and another left, but Leonard staying right there, measuring his spots, pounding to the body, and a right to the head. And Davey Pearl steps in, that's it! A 14th round knockout victory for Sugar Ray Leonard, coming from behind to claim the undisputed welterweight championship of the world. Davey Pearl jumped in just in time. Tommy Hearns didn't have a leg on him, was taking terrific punishment. And when Davey stepped in, Tommy turned around and staggered to his corner. Didn't look to fight. No protest from his corner either, Gil. Sugar Ray Leonard with a stunning comeback. A 14th round knockout, and here's what led to the finish. Well, we can see Tommy staggering around the ring. The legs just won't hold him. Ray knows he's a sitting duck right now. And look at the punishment that Sugar Ray is dishing out. There's no better finisher in boxing than Sugar Ray Leonard. When you get in trouble with Sugar Ray Leonard, it's all over. Well, Gil, what a dramatic finish by Sugar Ray Leonard in that first fight, coming from behind to score a 14th round knockout. Your thoughts? Well, Tim, it was a fight where Sugar Ray Leonard started boxing, moving side to side, lost the first five rounds doing that, and that was his fight plan. He nailed Tommy Hearns in the sixth round, hurt him badly, and then Tommy reverted. He became the boxer. Leonard became the stalker and the puncher. Going after the 12th round of the fight, Ray Leonard had to score a knockout to win. Tommy Hearns came in at 145 pounds, which I think was a big mistake. I think if he came in at 147, he would have been able to get through those last three rounds. Well, the judges had Tommy Hearns ahead going into that last round. Let's take a closer look at the scorecards. 